We're going to tie a fly now called the two-tone collie. So we're going to tie this on a piece of hard plastic tubing. I'm just going to flame the end of that just to get myself a little lip. And then I'm going to put that into the HMH tube holder. rigid itself but what I'm going to do is slide a needle down that just to give you a little bit more rigidity. So this fly has to be a hundred millimeters long so as you can see from the front end roughly to where the rear of the of the view is here. some strip glue and put a bit of that into my super glue well here. Now I'll take my thread, which is a black 140 10 year uh, ultra thread from UTC, put a little bit of super glue onto it just to start. Fly. First thing we're going to put in is a bit of silver oval, and that's going to act as our rib. Bang that backwards. No. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a wide strip of Mirage. Now this was a sheet of Mirage tinsel, which I've cut into a strip, maybe five, six mil wide. I'm going to cut a taper into the tie-in of it and tie that in on my side and leave it hanging backwards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pink tinsel, pull off a portion of that across its middle and I'm going to put on a bit of wax and I'm going to lay down the body. Now I've doubled this over this tinsel so I'm now Wrapping on half the body in this pink colour. Right, don't be overly worried about this because this is really only to transmit the colour through the pearl. So I'll trim that off. a bit more wax and then the front of the body is going to be this which is like a coppery bronze coloured tinsel. I'm going to take off a length of it and the same again put it behind my tinsel. You can see now it's on my tinsel. I slide that down and then tie it in and again wrap forward with my silk to make a smooth body to put that onto. Stop on a few mil shy of the eye. I will wrap this copper mylar tinsel on to create the front half of the body. Now 
and fold it back onto the tail in. So now we take our mirage colored wide tinsel and we wrap over what we already have and as you can see that sort of transmits the colors from the tinsel underneath and mutes them. When I get it to the front here I'm going to stretch it a bit and then tie it across itself. Fold it back. So trim that off. Now we take our silver oval and at the back here put on a few wraps just to create a butt and then start to wrap forward maybe four or five turns to take it to the front of the fly. Once we get it there put a few wraps on change the direction of the tinsel forward and tie it in. So, first part of the wing now I'm going to use uh, a good quality black fox. I'm going to take out a bunch of that. And I'm going to strip out the shortest under fibers. Again I'm going to check where my 100 mil comes to. So that's roughly at the crook of my vise here. So this is about 80 mil or so. So I'm going to place that on on top of the hook, or start on top of the tube and bind that down. I'm going to take my scissors I'm going to cut off the loose ends of that fairly neatly. Up to the head. Next I'm going to put on a little bit of pearl crystal hair. I'm going to take one strand of it and we'll place it on roughly the length of the underwing that I have here and then double it back on itself just make sure that's up on top and then cut the two strands off the same length so. Now I want to take a little bit of super glue and just secure in that tie-in point. Top part of the wing to take me out to the 100mm I'm going to use black goat. So I'm going to take a portion of this, cut it off, I'm going to remove the under fluff from it and I'm going to take that Pull a little bit just to give me a bit more taper into my goat portion. And I'm going to lay that on for measurement wise out to my 100 mil length. I'm going to set that on top. I'm going to put on a couple of wraps just to hold it in position. scissors, lift that up and trim off the waist ends. I'll take my dubbing needle again and get, get some super glue onto it and just let it wick in 
to the cut ends of the goat. Before that dries, I need to wrap over that just to shape my head. Now to finish off this wing, I'm going to get a bit of peacock fern. I'm going to take a couple from that side and a couple from that side of the eye. I'm going to place them together and measure up their tips. set them on now you see I've twisted them because as I wrap the flatness of them will slide over onto the top of the wing I put a couple of wraps on just to keep them in position and I check that they're not out of place Again, before we finish it off, I'm going to take my my ruler and measure it out. You can see I'm a little bit long on the peacock, so I'm just going to pull it forward a little bit, and then I'm going to trim off. Ends. I'm going to get my dubbing needle and add some glue to my tie and thread and then wrap that from the front backwards to create a nice smooth and even head. that off. All that remains now is to varnish the head. Sally Hansen hard as nails with nylon which is a really good clear varnish and what I'll do when that dries is I'll just cut the tube here at the back I'll pull my wing out of the way and flame it to create a little burr and then I'll add a piece of junction tubing and that will be a two-tone collie dog